Welcome to the League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Miss Fortune, the Bounty Hunter. Miss Fortune is a ranged physical DPS champion. Rush high value damage items like Infinity Edge, Last Whisper, and Elixirs of Fortitude and Agility. A few of her icons weren't implemented when I recorded this video, so I apologize for the Tristana icons you might see. Not a problem. I know what I'm doing. Her passive is Strut, which gives bonus movement speed that builds up over time if she hasn't taken damage in a while. Any damage will knock her out of Strut, so if her speed is giving you trouble, give her a little poke. Double Up is a physical damage nuke. The shot bounces to a second enemy that's behind your target. I max this ability first. Impure Shots gives bonus damage as she repeatedly hits a target. On Activate, she gains attack speed and reduces incoming healing of the targets she hits. I max Impure Shots by level 13. Make It Rain showers an area with bullets, slowing enemies and dealing damage over a short time. I drop one point here at level 2, and max it last. Misfortune's ultimate is Bullet Time, hitting all enemies in a cone for some significant damage. Because it's a channeled spell, assassins with interrupts like Kassadin or Udyr can stop her. Armor Penetration Marks and Quintessences, followed by Mana Regeneration per level Seals and Glyphs, will allow you to spam abilities in lane while adding exceptional damage output. With 19011, I take all the relevant damage dealing offensive masteries, with Mana Regeneration and Utility. If you don't need the mana, take 21 in offense. Ghost and Flash give her extra mobility to keep her from dying quickly in teamfights. I start with Boots of Speed and 3 Health Potions. Strut lets me harass Anivia with Double Up, unhittable by Flash Frost. This is important when landing against champions who rely on skill shot pokes. As such a champion, land a basic attack first. Last hitting minions is extremely important on Misfortune. In a pinch, Bullet Time can almost clear a minion wave on its own. You might consider summoner teleport and finding huge uncontested minion waves to farm. Whatever you decide, it's a good idea to set a pace for your income. Around halfway to level 7, I'm at about 1400 gold. Try to beat that score yourself. Misfortune's biggest weakness is the Burst Assassin. Anivia's ultimate stops Strut, which lets Cassidy and Garen catch up and destroy me. I position myself to unleash bullet time. With the help of Vladimir and Morgana, we kill two enemies. However, Cassadin is able to jump on me, and though I get him very low, he takes me down. I buy Mercury Treads to help against Anivia and Cassadin. With Elixirs active, we kill Baron Nasher, which is extremely quick for a farmed physical carry. As a teamfight ensues, Cassadin chases Sin Zhao. Activating impure shots, I get 4 attacks with 1 critical strike, allowing Vladimir to kill him off with Hemoplague. As the enemy team piles in, they've lined up for bullet time. Always try to make it rain first. It's harder for your enemies to leave the bullet time area. Cassadin rift walks towards me, but I'm finally ready for him. The combination of my items, elixirs, Baron buff, and impure shots kills Cassadin in 5 attacks about 3 seconds. I take note of the enemy positions. Poppy is my main target. Needly has no crowd control, and Anivia is far enough away that I can dodge Flash Frost. With Garen and Cassidy missing, I'm safe to commit. However, as the fight goes on, I make the mistake of channeling bullet time while in range of the turret, giving away a free kill. I have enough damage now, and need some utility. Frozen Mallet gives me the health to survive skirmishes, while allowing me to chase or kite most enemies. I'm able to chase Poppy with Paragon of Damasia and a wealth of speed items. Here there are no easy targets, Garen should never be focused, and Poppy has diplomatic immunity. 
if I run toward Anivia, I'm putting myself right next to the two Damasians. I force Kassadin back, channel my ultimate, and when he returns to silence me, I kill him off before mopping up the rest of my enemies. Let's take a look at the scoreboard. Despite being down 12 champion kills and my terrible start, I farmed 50% more minions than anyone else in the game, and pulled myself into a positive ratio with superior items. I cannot stress last hitting as a more important skill when playing a physical carry.